Hi, Chris Thompson here again. Before I do anything, I'd like to say thank you to the new subscriber. I've now got 36 subscribers. And anybody watching this video that hasn't subscribed yet, smash subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. So, today, I'm going to show you all how to use the assign command and to do that I will open up my work directory Um, and I will mount the first disc of Amos Pro which is an ADF so we have the first we've inserted or actually mounted the um, ADF of uh, Amos Pro, so it's Amos Pro underscore system disk, and it actually has its own install, but I don't like using that because it's it's actually an install made with Amos Pro itself, and it's it's not the usual um, Amiga install. It's like some weird fancy install and yeah I don't, I don't like it don't like doing it with that um but anyway if i go into amos pro um so this is booted uh this is sorry started up from the disk or in this case the adf file and if i go into help into any of these help um topics in this help it it complains and says basically that there's no disk in the drive called amos pro underscore accessories which is where those help topics are actually um where they where they actually are where they're stored so If I make a new folder or a new drawer actually as they're uh, called on the Amiga but all you uh, people that use Windows like I also do you'll, uh, you'll know what I mean by uh, folder so if I make a new drawer then and I'll keep icons on so then it's not not invisible and call it Amos Pro so we've got a, f a folder or a drawer called Amos Pro so if I open that and let's get rid of work let's expand this draw so what I'm going to do is copy this Amos Pro underscore system into this Amos Pro draw that I've just made by dragging it into the draw So, this one that's now in the Amos Pro drawer is not a disk. This is actually a drawer. So, even though it's got the same icon, it's got the disk icon, 
it's not actually a disk it's a draw so if I was to click on the Amos Pro system disk and go to information this is actually a mounted ADF so it's DA0 and the device is track file dot device so that is an is an ADF file but if I was to click on this and information as you can see it's actually a draw and not a disk but we can still open it it's still got all the files there and everything and you can go into you can actually open up Amos Pro and it works and if you go into the help it's still asking for that disk so what I'll do then I will mount that disk which is that out of the way over there a minute so if I mount disk 3 which is that accessories disk move this back over here so we've got the it we've still got the Amos Pro underscore system there but we've now also got Amos Pro underscore accessories so if I go back into Amos then that I've copied on the folder or the draw and go to one of these it will actually go into the help now because we have that accessories disk in there but we're not going to we're not going to keep that um, ADF mounted we're actually going to do like what we've just did with this uh, the original uh, the first disk and we're going to copy that also over to Amos Pro so now we've got Amos Pro accessories in here with the Amos Pro underscore system so if we unmount both of these ADFs because we don't need them anymore let's try clicking on it first so we eject disks so those floppy disks have now been ejected so we don't have them in anymore so we've got amos pro underscore system and amos pro underscore accessories in the amos pro folder so now if i was to go into amos pro and go to these helps it's now complaining saying that we don't have that Amos Pro accessories in any drive you're probably thinking well we do have it it's in the same folder but we don't we do but it's a draw and not a drive so it's not going to see um, Amiga OS is not going to see this Amos Pro Undersaw accessories as a drive and this is where the assign command comes in with this with the assign command we're basically telling Amiga OS to look elsewhere 
instead of the drive what it's looking for so it'll, it'll basically be looking for that drive but if you've assigned a draw to that drive so it's now looking in that draw instead so if I open up a new shell then and I type assign which is the uh, command we're going to use if we just press assign just type assign sorry and um, the system has already got a few things already assigned but we we are going to assign that disk to actually be this draw so if I type sign then and the name of that disk which is amos pro underscore accessories because that's where that's the drive or disk that it's looking for and then space and then speech marks because the drive the um, partition where I've put these the, um, the draw sorry has got a space in it so you have to put speech marks for anything that's got a space in it otherwise it's it's not going to understand it'll just say amos instead of amos pro and it won't understand so we type work because that is where this draw actually is so work colon Amos space pro forward slash and then again we put Amos pro underscore accessories and then speech marks or quotations on the end and then press return now when I go into this Amos Pro and go into one of these helps it's now straight away opened up by help because it's no longer looking for that disk it's now opening it up from that drawer it's now assigned that disk to that drawer so every time Amos Pro is looking for that accessories disk it's going to actually open stuff up from that drawer but there's one problem sorry about that I got a calendar notification <laughs> um, there's one problem if I restart the Amiga <laughs> oh, my little uh, boot screen which you uh, you don't get that um, as default I actually uh, put that on there do, 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 
do. It's a bit slow. I'm not going to wait for the uh, the background to load up. I'll just go straight into it. So I've rebooted the Amiga. If I go back into the AMOS Pro folder or draw and go into AMOS Pro again. I'm going to one of these helps. It's going to complain again about that disk not being there. And you're thinking, why? Because you assigned it. Yes, we assigned it. But just typing it in the shell, that's temporary. When you do a restart, when you reboot, that sign has completely gone. So you'd have to type that in all the time to get it to work. Well, actually, you don't. What we need to do is we need to open up a new shell again and type ed which is the editor s colon user dash start up so this opens up the user start up script which anybody who's used um, old versions of windows or dos will remember a file known as auto exec bat well this is this is um, a very similar thing uh, to the auto exec back on Windows and DOS. So if we go right, 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 right down to the bottom. And there's actually alias there, which if you've not watched my command video about the alias command, then there will be at the end of this video there will be a link to that video anyway so now what we have to actually do instead of typing that assign command string into the shell we need to save that command in this user startup script so if I type a sign then and the name of that disk which was Amos Pro underscore accessories so it why is it oh, why is it typing it over there because I clicked over there Amos Pro underscore accessories colon because that like I said is the disk that it's looking for and then quotation marks or speech marks work or whichever folder you have happened to put it in, it might not be in uh, which drive you've happened to put it in or which folder you've happened to put it in. It's not necessarily going to be work, this is just in my uh, my case. So work colon Amos Pro forward slash and then Amos 
AMOS pro pro underscore this this O button on here is very uh, finicky. It either doesn't type or it types twice. <laughs> um, accessories. And then end quotation marks. And then we go to project and save. So that's now saved that to the user startup file. So if I now come out of that and we yet again reboot the Amiga that's now going to look in that user startup file and it's going to actually use that assign command what we've just um, typed in and it'll do that at every single boot unless you're um, booting with no um, startup sequence for whatever reason. So if I now go into work then again, And we're going to our AMOS Pro again. This time, when I click in here on AMOS Pro, I'm going to one of these helps. It now just goes straight into it. And it's going to do that every time I start the system now because that assign command string is in the user startup file. So it now knows that it's assigned every time that's going to be assigned every time we boot. So yeah, that's how you use the assign command. And I've been Chris Thompson. This has been the Amiga Guide and thank you for watching.